Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my recipe for Pallori Mix. So, these Pallori's you can get it at Double Spenders, it have all around Trinidad and Tobago. Um, it's a very popular street food. So, here I have here some seasoning, some spit piece powder, or you could use grind dal, turmeric, yeast, salt, some water to help with the dough, some oil to fry. So let's get started on putting this dish together. So I'm going to be adding my spit piece powder. The salt. Turmeric. The yeast. And give that a mix. Gonna be adding my seasoning. This is grind seasoning, and it's already on my channel. Mix it on mine, and you're gonna add your for, your um water. Sorry, gradually, little bit at a time. You want a nice soft dough, like a piece like. So I'm going to tell you in the description box how much water I use. So guys, I want to keep mixing this until it comes a nice soft dough. And this is the consistency that I like, so I'm going to stop with the water right now. Let's keep turning. So guys, when you're finished with your pallori paste or dough, you're going to cover it with your foil or your parchment paper and leave it to rest for a minimum of one hour. So next it's time to fry our pallori balls after it rested for that hour. You're gonna need a spatula, a big one, and a bowl with some napkins and some water to put in your hand. I'm gonna put my hand in there to help me with the pallori balls. So you're gonna throw about four cups of oil, or well, you will know how much oil you want. So I'm gonna throw enough to help with the pallori. I do not want it to be jam up. I want it to space out. So next, let's test the oil and make sure it's hot enough for the balls. So it's very hot at this point. You want your your heat to be on medium low. So let's fry the rest of the pallorys. So what I do is I pass it through here and make a little bowl. You do not want your pallori balls to be too big as it's going to be too lumpy. And I find it doesn't really enjoy that much when it's too big. So now it's time to take them. So guys, this is how the pallori looks. It doesn't like it too dark. So once it comes like a nice color and it's cooked properly, I take it out one time. So let me can 
everything is fine. The polloi balls and then I'll take it out and show you guys how it's served. So guys, this is my polloi recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's dish. You could even make it without the dal and the seasoning and follow the rest of the ingredients. So thank you all for watching. Until then, bye.